Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Big Ass Mold Day. That's right. So you can see here that I've got my big 13 inch tray mold here. This is the wavy gravy one uh, that I'm going to be using. And uh, yeah, I did the best I could to get it cleaned off, but I'm sure that there will be some anomalies in it. Um, you know, as you do. But anyway, so I made up six ounces of my Bond Crafter one-to-one -one resin. I have not run it through the bubble machine. Uh, and I have parted out an ounce and a half in these two little cups. And I've added blue HTV Raunch uh, mica powder to this one. And I've added white over here to this one. And then the other one I'm just going to leave clear. I think I got this from BB Craft. Or Timu. One of the two. I don't know. You can find them in a multitude of different uh, crafting uh, online facilities. I've even seen them on Amazon. So I'm just checking to make sure that we don't have any chunky bits. And I don't see any, which is good. And I'm going to clean off my stick. And now the reason that I'm not worried about running it through the bubble remover is because this guy is so flat that the resin itself is going to degas a lot easier than if it was in a big deep mold. Um, so that's my reasoning behind that. Uh, so now I need to restir, double check on my white, make sure that it's okay. I don't see any flaky bits or chunky bits or anything like that, so that's a good thing. All right, so what I'm going to do is basically just go through and randomly pour into the mold and just let it go wherever it wants to, essentially, because we all know that resin self-levels. And if you didn't know, now you do. Resin will always find the path of least resistance and take it. So even if you want it in one particular area, unless you build dams and, you know, make a concerted effort to keep it in one spot, it, it's not going to happen. All right, so let's go in with our blue. They're going to mix. They're going to mingle. They're going to get to know each other. And the colors are going to come together into beautiful couples. All right, and now for our clear. Three ounces of the clear, so it's going to cover a little more real estate than the others. But again, not going for perfection. This initial layer is just to get my colors in. And let them move around as they will. see what the natural beauty and madness brings us, right? Yes. So that is where we're looking right now. Where is my alcohol? There it is. What I'm going to do is go through and spray it with 99% alcohol. 
for two reasons. One, bubbles. Uh, it helps get rid of any bubbles that are in there. Two is it breaks the surface tension of the resin and helps it flow a little bit better. Um, it also helps flow better if it's warm. Um, so that's it's well, about 77 degrees uh, Fahrenheit in my office slash craft room slash living room slash whatever. Uh, so I'm anticipating that this is going to move around easily uh, and find its way where it wants to go. So that, as they say, is that for this first part. So we are going to let this cure and do its thing. And I will see you guys for next steps. We'll see you soon. All right, so we are taking our next exciting step here, and we are pouring six ounces of clear, clear resin over this tray to fill in the gaps. I know it's so exciting pouring clear resin, isn't it? I think so. There's something very soothing about just watching clear. As a joke one time when I was in high school, uh, I had a doctor's appointment, a doctor of the psychiatric variety, you know, during their question and answer session. They ask you all sorts of ridiculously silly questions, and one of the questions that they asked me is, what's your favorite color? And I said, clear. And they just kind of looked at me and said, are you serious? And I was like, well, it's a silly question. Silly questions get silly answers. And they're like, all right, fair enough. So, all right, now we have our six ounces of clear over the top here. We are going to let that fill in all of its little blanks. And then we will go over the top once everything is cured because it's going to need a uh, top coat, most likely. If it doesn't, I will be shocked and amazed. And just going to spray with a little bit of alcohol. Get out any surface bubbles. So I will see you guys then. See you soon. All right. Let's demold this guy. Oh, this thing is so huge. Oh my goodness. Make sure that everything is unstuck. And it is. Oh, crap. Sorry. Whack the camera. There you go, Ruff. All right. There we go. Clean as a whistle. That looks really, really cool. I like that. Now yeah, we do have a couple of little nibbly bits showing, but you know, hey, I think it adds to the personality of it. That looks so awesome. My gravy. I'm pleased with that. Man. Now, there are a couple of options here. You can either leave it wavy like this or if you want to use it in a more like tray like capacity you know with a flatness to it you can always fill it in now i'm pleased with the way that this turned out uh there are no bubbles there are no rough spots there's nothing wonky around the edges i like the shininess of it it's gorgeous <laughs> i really like it a lot um, the back is nice. It's, it looks good. It's, you know, I'm at a quandary. I was thinking I was going to fill in this with clear, uh, but I really dig it. And it's kind of a cool, you know, and even though it looks like it's different, it looks like it is different heights. 
everything, you know, is the same height overall. So, say you wanted to put a coffee mug on it. There you go. I know. I'm out of coffee. It's tragedy. Um, the resin itself that I use, the Bond Crafter, is uh, heat safe up to about 185 degrees Fahrenheit, um, or probably about uh, 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. Uh, so you could use it uh, to put coffee mugs on or, you know, uh, warm things, nothing scorching hot, obviously. Uh, no, tr you know, it's not a trivet by any sense, uh, but Gosh, I really like it. I really like it just as it is. Just as a really cool looking platter. Ooh, man. That's just really pretty with the blue and the white, the way it mixed together. Makes sort of that ghost blue effect. Gee whiz, that's pretty. Well done, Bond Crafter. I am so pleased with that. And I don't see any bubbles. I don't. I don't see any bubbles. The only it flaws, if you want to call them that, uh, eccentricities or whatever, are the blobbies from the mica powder. And that's my fault because I thought I was stirring it in well enough and I didn't. Uh, but yeah, boy, am I pleased with that. Man. Okay. I'm going to leave it as it is. I am. I'm just going to leave it alone and I'm going to use it as a platter. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put some little feeties on the bottom. Let's do that right now. Little feeties. And these are just little uh, rubber feet. Literally, it says right here on it. Rubber feet. Uh, got these from uh, Amazon. Uh, they're just little 3M. It says electronics, but you know, they're marketed on Amazon as uh, bumper pads for cabinet doors. So I'm going to put these around. I know you can't really see those two that I just put on there, but I'm going to put these around the perimeter. So that way it has a nice level surface to sit on and it's up off of your surface of choice. just in case something moist gets under it. And then what I'm also going to do is just because I think it helps um, keep things level a little bit more and so it doesn't dip in the middle when you're using it. I'm going to put a couple in the center as well. So there we have it. And there it is. I know it's hard to see all of it because it's just so big. It doesn't fit on my mat. Um, and I don't want to scoot you out too far because, uh, frankly, I don't want you to see my mess. Um, so there's that. Oh, goodness. But that is lovely, isn't it? Here, I'll give you a sort of a... Panning shot. Well, I'll scoot you out a little bit so you can kind of see my mess. Sorry about the mess. We're remodeling for your convenience. Not really. Uh, I just work in a very limited space. You guys know that. So, yeah. Wow, I dig it. So, you, thank you guys so much for uh, sitting here and listening to me waffle about this tray. Uh, thank you for being here for the whole shooting match. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah. I hope to see you again on the next one. So, <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. Take care. Cheers.